All right, you know I love it when we have a New Orleans native in the house, and not just any no. New Orleans Are native. No, you kidding? No. You know what's even better when yeah. that person also happens to be the one and only Captain America, our good friend <laughs> Anthony Mackie. Hi, Anthony. Anthony. Y'all got to give me some wardrobe advice. I feel like I look like a pawpaw. <laughs> I'm the same color as a... I'm the fruit of the season. Yes, you Wait, are. Wait, the fruit of the season's good, though. So you know what? You look great. Yes. Okay, we that's have to that's talk that's about how you just took your kids to Disneyland. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Now, you're a good dad. You want to take them on the ride. So just give us a taste of your experience with them. Well, do not go on the Ferris wheel. Because they have the stationary cars for the old people. They only have the sliding cars for the kids. Yeah. Don't get on the ride with the kids. So Let them get what, in their own car. What what ha tell us what so happened. So as it goes around the car slides. Yeah. So it's almost like you're falling back into, into the middle of the Ferris wheel, <laughs> and then it rocks, uh, and then when it comes back around, it, it does, does it, it again. again. Now, now most people would think Anthony Mackie, Captain America, like he can you handle would, a oh, roller coaster. No, 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 no. I'm good with, no, no, no. I have many pictures of my boys looking at me on rides, like disappointment. Let's see. And me What's crying. What is What's the, the look? look? Show me their look and your look. My look is tears, open mouth yelling, and their their look is like, dude, <laughs> you're 30 years older than us. Come on. What do your kids think about you uh, being Captain America? They must be over the moon. You know what? They, uh, they don't really talk about it or no. think about it. They just love the idea of dad. You know, and when I'm with them, you know, we play board games and like hang out. We don't really but don't have. Don't they brag but you about you? And come on, you're no, not gonna like. No, my kids are the most humbling kids on really? earth. Really? Yes. I'm like, you know, you know, I'm in Marvel <laughs> movies. They're like, yeah, Dad. Okay. <laughs> Do they not see him? I, no, they no, don't. They don't. don't. They're not Marvel kids. It's really weird. Oh. They're all about sports. They're all uh -huh. about their little like little uh, Rob, Rob, Roblox. Or yeah, Roblox. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which I can't figure out. Yeah. But is there anything that you do in for professionally that your kids are into? Uh, they love the fact that I'm a very good fisherman. Oh. Yeah. Do they can go. They can go and sit and watch me fish for hours. Really? Now everything they're doing behind me, they're breaking and destroying <laughs> stuff. But I'm killing it with the rod. You reef. know what I said earlier in our meeting that I thought you were kind of like the most interesting man in the yeah. world. <laughs> yeah. You know that Dos yeah. Equis commercial. Yes. yes. But now you fish too. Yeah. 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 I took all. Oh. I just finished this show um, uh, for Peacock called Twisted Metal, and I took a bunch of my crew out uh, night bow fishing. Wait, what? You come to New Orleans, next time I'm taking y'all bow fishing at with night. With like a bow and arrow? Yeah, <laughs> as opposed, no, with wait, a hammer. Yes, no, with a bow and arrow. <laughs> wait, you're shooting fish with a bow and arrow? Yes, yes. So See, you what put if you, them, How do you have to have the aim? There's a string, there's a, there's so a string. It's, it's insane, but it's a lot did of fun. Did you shoot one? Of course I did, I got the biggest one. Wow. Oh, my God. I told you he's like that. Well, okay. <laughs> well, so the reason we were calling you a renaissance man is you you love so many things. You love your country music lover. Yes. Love Tell us music. about that. Like, like where who should that we start? listen to, too? Uh, my favorite group now is Little Big Town. Yeah. Yeah. Same like, with I us. Love... We love them. They were just here on Friday. So I met them, like, three years ago, and I was like, okay, I'm a fan. Yeah. Like, really? And I'm like, yeah, so I started singing at jams, so we started hanging out, so I got to go on stage with them. Wait, what? It was amazing. So then we became really good friends, and uh, them, and uh, there's this young man named Breland. Who, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I my gosh! Like Breland! We, we love, love Breland! Is he here? <laughs> <laughs> Bree! We Wait, love him. We have so much in five. common. Okay, who yeah, else? that's my folk. That's my folk. Yeah. Oh, these are his people. last album, that country album. Yes. yes. Yay. Oh, country. He did like a country combo. gospel. Yes. yes. It's with, amazing. With gospel yeah, yeah, yeah. Is oh my gosh. Well, okay. we also have to talk about how you are helping people in New Orleans. Oh, yeah. Very right. cool project. Yes. yes. Why I'm here. <laughs> 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 yeah. Tell us now, about I've this. I've partnered with this uh, company, GAF, uh, who's the largest roofing manufacturer in America. And um, we've uh, uh, taken 500 homes, yeah. 150 wow. of which are in the Seven Wall, where I'm from. Yeah. And uh, we got up on the roof, and we're giving them new roofs. How awesome. Um, you know, there's so many natural disasters that uh, have ravaged uh, the Gulf Coast region, and these blue tarps have kind of become synonymous yeah. with flying into New Orleans. So GAF has given me the opportunity to go up on the roofs in the neighborhood that I grew up in 
and uh, redo 150 roofs and well, 500 across the entire Gulf Coast region. You're right. Amazing. When you see those blue tarps, you know that it was ravaged you by know. Katrina or by a hurricane, and that is so cool. And your dad was so, was a Yeah, roofer? my dad. My dad was one of the cold. If you ask him, he was one of the coldest roofers out there. He could nail more <laughs> squares than anybody. But, you know, it's, it's funny because it, it means so much because it's my neighborhood. Yes. Like, these are people I grew up around. These are people who have known me since I was a child. The first guy whose house we went on, he told me the story of how he sold my dad the land to build the house that I grew up in. Oh, my gosh. Oh my so God. to have that experience and be able to go, it's more so just about the community. Like, I think, um, you know, what GAF is really bringing to the table with the uh, Community Matters uh, movement is really giving me the opportunity, giving us the opportunity to go back and work in our own neighborhoods. Yes. And there's another work program within it to where they're teaching young people who are at risk, young people who are, you know, looking for work. They're teaching them how to get up on a roof and put a roof on. Oh, cool. Seven, let's hear it for the seventh so floor. job creation. You know, it's looking out yeah. for the neighborhood. Yeah, it's, it's everything. You know, it's, it's really been amazing. I know. Your love affair with New Orleans, man, and it'll never it. go away. That's it. Stick around, guys. Anthony's going to stick around, too. A little throwback trivia game, and you can play along coming up after this. Oh, yes. All come right. right. The time has come. We're throwing it backy with Anthony Mackie. We're going to play a new game. We're calling it Blast of the Past. So, Anthony, here's how it works. We're going to hit this button. We're going to transport you to a year in the past. We're going to ask you a pop culture question, <laughs> and you're going to share some fun facts about yourself. We're going to be so bad at this. Okay. All right, here no, no. Okay, you ready? Okay, ready? Here let's we go. go. And let's go. And the year was 1982. Here's a question. Singer Lionel Richie leaves which funk and soul band to become a solo artist? What band was uh, he in? The Commodore. Yes, yes indeed. Yes. Wait, are you a Lionel fan? Hello. Yes. Is that you? I've, your, seen, I've what, seen Lionel Richie in what, Vegas three times. What's your three go to? Times? What's your yeah. go-to Lionel song? Uh, 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 yeah. Dancing on the ceiling. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's the one. Usually when I'm oh, cooking, like with the boys, I'll put it on and we jam uh, while I cook. Uh, yeah. Wait, it's, does it's Lionel awesome know? Uh, did you ever get to meet Lionel? Yeah, we <laughs> homeboys. Ooh, of course you are. All right. Um, okay, here we go. Ready? Let's see the next year. The year is. There you go. And hit it twice. All right, the year is 1985. Mm -hmm. Name that hit sitcom about four female friends sharing a home in Miami. 227. Nah. <laughs> Golden Girls. You got it. Wait, are you a Golden Girl? We heard you love the Golden Girls. I love the Golden Girls. They make everything right. I fall asleep to the Golden Girls. Are you Every more, night? Thank you, Hallmark Channel. Who are, yes. you, are you more like any of them? Uh, I think I'm more of a Dorothy person. <laughs> oh, I, I like a good telling somebody off. Okay, all right. That's, all right, here we go. Let's see the year. The year is... Oh, 2002. All right, Anthony. Ooh. Eminem. Stars in this hit film that opened number one at the box office. Well, that's not fair. What? I'm the black guy in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's Eight Mile. That was my first movie, by the way. It, we what? were going to bring that up. Yeah. We started that project. That, that was, was my do, first do you remember? Look, look at how young I look. I mean, how young were you? Oh, it's all gone to hell since then. <laughs> do you remember what it was? I do I remember felt? every day of that shoot. It's a great story. Curtis Hansen, uh, the director, really took me under his wing and taught me a lot about the business and really gave me that opportunity. When I first it read that script and got that role. It was only like four lines. Oh my god! He just added and added and wow. gave me the opportunity. He saw the to potential in you. Yeah, yeah. Are and you an Eminem? Do you still hang? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> you know. I mean, Eminem's a hard guy to find these days. <laughs> okay. but, uh, we we talk. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's do, go more. to another year. There you go. All right, we're going back in time to 1996. Ooh, I crushed 96. <laughs> Which, uh, wait, what, what were you doing in 1996? I, I left, I went, okay, so uh, 1996, I left home to go to boarding school at North oh. Carolina School of the Arts. Wow. Oh. Yeah, so that was the year I, like, my formative year. Of wait, is that, was that a freshman, you were a freshman in high school? No, I was a senior in high school. And okay. you went for your last year yeah, to I, had to, I had to get out of town. It was time. Oh, it was time to go. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> New Orleans was done with me. All right, well, then you may know this. Okay, which song from the group Los Del Rio ruled the Bach billboard for 100 of the 14 I weeks? I love these guys because the guy with the red tie looked like Mr. Bean. <laughs> they did uh, the Macarena. Yes, yes. they yes. did. Yes. Wait, and you, you know how to do that dance? You know what? It's been about 30 years, <laughs> but I got the last one. It's the other ones. That's the, that's the, whole, that's the hard part. All right, final question. We go to the future. The year is... 
That button is broken. It sure is. <laughs> 2024, Anthony Mackie's on the big screen as Captain America. How many red circles were on the original <laughs> Captain America shield? The original, like the original Chris Evans or the original from the don't comics? Try to oh, don't know. You, asked. you know two, I don't. Two. 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 Yes. yes. Wait, so have y'all started shooting yet? No, we have not. Okay. That's, that's why I'm sitting here in this chair, so I don't get in trouble, so I get to shoot it. So do you have to, what, what do you have to do to prep? You got uh, to work out? We gotta... You have to work out. You have to stop all the bad stuff. You have to sleep eight hours a day. You have to run four miles a day. Wow. It's, it's a lot. It's a, it's lot. a lot. All right. Yeah, it's a solid four months of just, you know, eating, eating, eating and right. lifting. Yeah. Well, so you, no donuts? No. No. And, you know, in New Orleans, we do have the best donut in the world. Yikes. The buttermilk drop. That's real. <laughs> you can't buy those in the airport. There you go. Do you like a buttermilk drop? I don't think I've ever had one, Anthony. Uh-oh. All right. Are they better than a beignet for real? I'm just saying to a try. cold glass of chocolate milk and a buttermilk drop okay, would make your need, situation let's better. Cut those. All right. All right. All right. Thank I'm you so, so much. We love Thank you. you Anthony.